Assalamu alaikum everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Cece or Khadija and we are back at it again today with another video and in today's video I would like to share with you guys a video that was recommended um, supposedly it is quite disturbing however it is also quite awakening at the same time so I'm quite intrigued to know what this video is going to be about and with that being said let's get straight into it shall we? Thompson, what if your wife finds out? It's modern times. Everyone's doing it. Where did my Christian limo driver go? My pious husband is missing. The baby I chose to have baptized is gone. Mr. Thompson, what's happening? It's the rapture, Shauna. The rapture. The virtuous have gone to heaven and the rest of us have been left below we were fools and because we rejected god tacitly accepting satan we must suffer through the apocalypse i thought all religions were a path to god i was wrong why did i put my faith in science and technology oh why did i choose to be gay Indeed, indeed, that was definitely, definitely awakening. There was a lot of great points that were made in this small clip. Now let's break it down, shall we? You know, the video was definitely most shocking. Um, however, at the same time, you know, we shouldn't be so surprised because in this day and age, everybody knows the truth. Everybody knows. And people choose to either follow the truth or choose to go on a wrong path. You know, what I have come to the realization of is that there are so many hidden things behind what we see, especially when it comes to cartoons like The Simpsons. There is always a hidden meaning behind what they show us. However, we, it's a lot of people that unfortunately see these things, but they do not recognize what is actually being hidden what is actually being told the truth is literally right in front of us right in front of us and yet people are still sleeping i feel like at this point in time it is time for people to wake up it is time for all of us to wake up and start realizing these little small small signs that they show us right in our face you know the key message that i want to spread having watched this clip is that we need to hold on strong to our faith we need to hold on strong to our faith you know i want to encourage everybody out there hold on to your faith you know a lot of signs have come a lot of signs are yet to come you know i'm not saying that you know it's the end of the world you should be scared or anything but i am saying that we need to hold on strong to our faith and our beliefs because there's a lot of things that could influence and make us decide oh you know what i don't want to be a muslim anymore but alhamdulillah from what i see from the muslims muslims are very strong in their faith regardless but hold on dear because these things are just minor tests the greatest tests are yet to come you know for me what this makes me think of is that you know the people of this world the government they know the truth and they want to gather as many people as they will to go down with them they know the truth about religions they know the truth about god they do but there are so many things that they keep away from us. Literally so many things. And, you know, whilst they know the consequences of their actions, they don't want to go down alone. They don't want to suffer alone. And what did they do? They try to get society to fall into their trap so that they, we, they can all be in one place together, despite that place being the worst place for anybody to be. As long as they are in a collective, as long as they are in a group, they don't mind. And they are literally mocking us right in front of us because they know that there are people who are going to be believing in things such as the Big Bang Theory and, you know, the fact that being a homosexual is acceptable. They know that people are going to fall for these type of things. And literally, they've, they are literally mocking us. With this clip that I have shared with you guys, I can see that they are literally mocking us with these things. 
literally right in our faces they are laughing at us they are laughing at the fact that people actually have fallen for these type of tricks for these types of beliefs and it is definitely an unfortunate situation but the government the bigger people they literally know that people will fall for anything and that's why I say hold on to your faith because if you don't have something to hold on to you will fall for anything very true if you don't hold on to something if you don't stand for something you will fall for anything you know the one that gets to me the most is the homosexual one because they're literally shoving it down our throats like to the point whereby kids are being influenced how does that work you mean to tell me that a kid is able to choose the agenda but they cannot choose the clothes they wear they cannot choose the food they eat they cannot choose where they go but they have the ability to choose the agenda how does that make sense you know, I've seen recently that an American lady um, pulled her kid out of a school because um, she didn't like the fact that they were the kid was being taught homosexuality. And it's, the woman is literally facing trial. She's going to court because of this, because she stood firm in her belief. That one just gets to me a lot. Why did I choose to be gay? That was what I heard in my ears. Why did I choose to be gay? These people know that it is a choice. It is a choice. And even me as a regular person speaking about this, I could face backlash. People could attack me for saying what I'm saying about the homosexuals. But a big, big brand, a big, big company, or the producers behind The Simpsons, the big TV show, they have literally put something like this mocking, mocking the LGBTQ plus community saying, why did I choose to be gay? It's a choice. Let's remember that. It's a choice. It's not something natural, not at all. And with these producers behind the shows, they are not going to face anything. They're not going to say anything. People are not going to come and attack them even though they, it's literally right in front of them. But if a regular person was to speak out against it, ooh, big problem. But when a big TV show like this broadcasts something like this, nothing happens. Hypocritical of these people. And you know, I just want to remind you guys of this verse or the surah in the Quran, you know, that indeed it is not the eyes that are blind, but it is the heart and in these times I think that is more true than ever because like I said with all these signs that they have literally shown us people are still going to be somehow blind although they are watching it right in front of them their heart is blinded by what they see anyways guys the key message that I would like to get across is everybody hold on to your faith hold on to your faith as much as you can do not let do not let society get to you do not let people get to you and you know some of you guys who are muslim born muslims are very lucky are very lucky and the reason why i say this is because unfortunately there are people out there who are not introduced to islam and or even if they are and again it's their heart that is not open to know the truth it's their heart that is not open to accept the truth and you guys that are born muslims you you have essentially a head start so hold on to it hold on dear to it no matter what obstacle may come in the way don't give up hold on to your faith and let's pray for our brothers and sisters out there that they would equally wake up and accept the truth as well but anyways guys thank you all so much for joining me in today's video i hope you guys took something from it even if it's a little thing i hope you guys reflect upon the video that we have watched today and upon the things that i have said as well so yeah thank you all so much and i'll see you guys in the next one please don't forget to like comment share and please don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video please do take good care of yourselves bye guys assalamu alaikum